So it's day four, the most glorious day. The preparations for the Cywell LAA 70th anniversary show are being finalized, hoping for upwards of 600 aeroplanes. And we are going unbelievably well. I regret to say that my role has increasingly become one of cook, buyer, and uh, logistics. Maybe it's because I really love food. This over here is our increasing record of what we do hour by hour every single day, including visitors we've had along the way. We were struggling, particularly in the wing department. These wings have to be very finely tuned because they have a 1.75 degree washout so that the aeroplane stalls close to the roof, not at the tip. So these are leveled up the here and there. Even up too. Need that. Surprisingly, the least fuss, really, that we've had is with the empennage, and it's been the ladies that have done that. So they have completed the vertical stabiliser just over there. The horizontal stabiliser, the rudder over there, has been inspected and is closed on one side. And this is the final component of the empennage going together right now. And I'm assured that it'll be finished by sundown tonight. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. In America. <laughs> <laughs> it's sundown that comes in New York. New York time. Actually, let's make it San Francisco. <laughs> you see that floats. Uh, Andy Draper is the LAA inspector. So he's the guy we've got to satisfy that everything is right. Yeah. He's giving it a thorough check. I think he's got a smile on his face. Yeah. <laughs> Back home, if, if, if the inspector's got a smile on his face, he's about to... Uh, deliver some devastating news of some kind. <laughs> yeah, so I fitted the um, VOR antenna up there. Right, that's so we can navigate IFR um, yes. in bad weather. Through clouds and through anything, just not mountain. Just to let you know, there are 17,000 rivets in this aircraft and uh, they are supplied by Gazipa, who are supporting us and sponsoring us in this event. The motor went on yesterday late, I think, right, Dan? Yeah. And today you've been putting the infrastructure around the engine in. This is a very, very high technology engine. It's a modern aircraft engine. It's only 1,280 cc's. It's turbocharged and it's very powerful for its weight. The downside of fitting an engine like this is very narrow, but it is difficult to install. All of this reticulation around the engine is critically important because it's a hot environment, it's vibrating hard, and obviously an engine in an aircraft can't fail. It just is not allowed to happen. Okay. So this is the most complex part of the airframe. Difficult to build. And here the center fuselage guys have done enough that the canopy can actually go on now and get fitted. So then it really is gonna to begin to look like a completed aircraft. It's only day four. So it looks to me like I can keep doing food, pictures and tea. No more required. Mm -hmm. 